Okay, so for this one, the problem was they gave you this, they gave you an image that had six uh, exponential functions graphed in multiple colors, red, green, yellow, purple, black. Maybe it's only five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I maybe I read off six colors. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. No, there's only five here. So I guess I'm wrong. Five? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, really, you need to look at the bases, and you need to look at the starting values. For instance, um, well, to, to get to get an idea of the bases and how they affect the location of the curve or the behavior of the curve, my suggestion is that you set up these blue ones. You could set these blue functions up, for instance, in Desmos, or you can g build them yourself by plotting points in Desmos or plotting points manually. So for instance, I give, did this blue stuff on the bottom where I have, an, have the t-table x and f of x, and I substitute a value of negative 2 in for x in the blue function f of x and get a quarter. So I have a point negative 2 comma 1 fourth. The negative 1 comma 1 half, 0 comma 1, 1 comma 2, and 2 comma 4. Plot those points. Then do the same thing for g of x. Do the same thing for h of x. Again, it might be faster to just do it in uh, Desmos and plot those functions, but the bottom line is we want to try to understand or learn the differences between what that base does, whether it's 2, 4, or 17 in the nature of the curve. The reason why is you want to look at the differences in the functions as they're listed so you can do the multiple choice. You want to do the same things, same thing over here with the pink ones and see that the pink, how the pink ones look when the base is less than 1, greater than 0. Again, less than 1, greater than 0. And since that coefficient in the front, which none of my functions here have, in the problem, they give you uh, coefficients in the front. All of them are the same at 3, except one of them is at 2. So what would that do if that's the starting value? Meaning if I put 0 in for x, what happens to the 2 to the 0? You should think that it becomes 1. And then 1 times the initial value or the lead coefficient becomes just that lead coefficient. That's why it's called the starting value. I'm at 0, comma that number. Um, I'd rather do it this way and you explore a little bit rather than me just doing it for you. Good luck.